Hello Mashkins and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make your very own fake sprinkles for slime and then I will also be showing you how to make little clay charms for slime and there are so many videos out there showing you how to make polymer clay charms so I'll be linking a few of those Instagram accounts in the description if you want to go and watch some really satisfying clay videos it's so much fun to watch and what people come up with is insane anyway back to this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a variety of different cake sprinkles and things that you can add into slime and this video took us like over a month to put together and perfect just because it took us quite a while to find a clay that doesn't go soft in slime so i really hope that you enjoy this video and that it helps you in your sprinkle making journey the fake sprinkles are really difficult to come by you can't just walk into a shop and buy a bag of sprinkles for slime so that's why i thought this might be a really cool video to do and it takes a really long time to make the sprinkles but you can get really creative and mix a bunch of different colors together if you want a specific type of sprinkle mix that's why i think it's really awesome to know how to make fake sprinkles and then before i get into the rest of the video oh, we have a really exciting announcement and I'm actually like feeling really shaky just because the announcement is that we are having another pop-up shop. Another pop-up shop. We are doing another pop-up shop and the reason why this one is so is so exciting is because it's going to be the biggest slime event in South Africa. I'm telling you, it's the biggest slime event in South Africa. It's going to be massive. We will be bringing so many slimes for sale, slime supplies. We will have glitter supplies. It will be crazy. And tickets are available for purchase on our website right now. This time around, we have a ticket system in place. And with one ticket, you can buy five items, but you can buy as many tickets as you want. I will link our website in the description. Tickets are limited, so please, please, please go and buy one if you want to come. And then um, the events and things that we will be having on the day will be announced here on YouTube and on Instagram. So also make sure to go and follow us on Instagram if you want to stay in the loop of the whole thing. Thing. and to make things even more exciting we are giving away three of these boxes full of slime goodies and all you have to do to enter is go and buy a ticket to the pop-up shop on our website the link will be in the description we are so excited to meet some of you and we just really can't wait for the whole event we've been keeping this a secret for a while now and we've already started preparing batches of slime so it's going to be insane the event will be taking place on the 22nd of march and then the actual event will, will be in Durbanville, Cape Town. The actual location will be on the ticket when you purchase the ticket just to make sure that we won't have too much craziness on the day. So make sure to go and have a look at our website if you're interested in buying a ticket. So let's get back to the actual video and I'll show you how to make slime sprinkles. And here are some sprinkles that we have bought. And as you can see, we need quite a lot for the slimes that we make, mainly because we are actually quite obsessed with sprinkles. So I'm really excited to show you how to make some of these yourself. We are in no shape or form the best polymer clay artists out there, but I will just show you exactly what I used to make some sprinkles and clay charms. So I use a cutting board and then a wax paper sheet just to make sure that nothing sticks to the board. And then this is the clay extruder that I use and I will be linking some places in the description where you can buy it. And then the clay extruder comes with all of these little discs so that you can make different shaped sprinkles and then this is a clay extruder that i got at pna that i will be testing out in this video and then these are some sort of um shape presses that you can get at most baking shops they use it for fondant and then i also love using these little tools that you can also get at most baking shops it just makes it easy to shape some clay shapes and then these are the tools that you can use to cut the clay charms or to shape them even more but i love using these super thin slices from sculpey and then you also need to use a rolling pin and i like using this one that's sort of like a plastic and then this brand of clay does not work for clay sprinkles you can use them but 
they sort of they go really soft in slime once you add it so i do not recommend using that but this is the brand you have to use this is the brand fimo and i will definitely link some places in the description where you can go and buy this clay it took us a really long time to find it and it comes in the most beautiful colors and you also get a lot of clay and then you also you can buy some clay softener if you want to soften up the clay a little bit because sometimes it's really hard to work with a hard clay and then here are some examples of some clay charms that i made over the past few weeks it took me a long time but it is so 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 much fun and towards the end of the video i'll show you how i make a cake and i will definitely list some instagram accounts in the description that are professionals at this it is so satisfying watching those clay videos and the reason why the Fimo brand of clay is the best one to use for slime sprinkles is because it doesn't go soft once you add the sprinkles to the slime. We have tested it, we've left one standing for weeks now already and it hasn't gone soft yet. So this is definitely the brand that you have to use for clay sprinkles. And then while I was on Take A Lot, I found this really cool book that shows you exactly how to make the most amazing clay shapes. And then it also comes with a lot of clay and you can literally make anything with it. Now, I haven't tested if this type of clay works in slime and keeps its shape, but you can always use the book and use Fimo clay to sort of make these cute little shapes and then here are some of the charms that i made with the instructions of the book and with the clay that they provide with it so and it was a lot of fun to do and i can highly recommend getting this book for someone that enjoys making these tiny little charms and things or if you want to try it out i can it, it's a lot of fun and i will definitely link this product in the description of this video The other clay extruder that you saw earlier in the video, the green one, that we ordered online from overseas. And then, so I was really surprised when I saw this little one at PA. So if you don't feel like ordering it online, you can always go and try this one out. It was 51 Rand, which is quite relatively cheap for all the little shaped discs that you get. So I will be testing this out later in the video. Now the first thing that I do before I start making any of the charms is I lay out my wax paper sheet just to make sure that the clay doesn't stick to the board and then I've got a big mess. And then what you have to do is you've got to cut your clay in a little piece or the size that you want to use and sort of roll it in your hands to warm it up so that you can fit it into the clay extruder. And then you just pop on your little end part and turn the thing at the end and squeeze out the clay in the other end. And then please, 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 the knives and tools that I'm using in this video are incredibly sharp. So please ask for adult supervision if you are planning on doing this. So once you've made your little clay strip, you can add it to a baking sheet and then you fill up your baking sheet and then you pop it into the oven later on when it's nice and full. I do know that Parakeet Slimes on Instagram makes a lot of the sprinkles that she uses herself and she had this really interesting looking sprinkle that she used for slime the other day so I decided to make something similar and to try it out and that's the nice thing about making your own sprinkles for slime is you can get really really creative with combining different colors and things which is really which is a lot of fun and this next type of sprinkle that I'm making is cake sprinkles that you saw at the beginning of this video and this is probably the most common type of sprinkle that you use for slime it's out in these little tiny thin spaghetti strips and then later on i'll show you how to cut them into the size that you want and then i decided to make some black sprinkles because i haven't been able to find black sprinkles anyway so i decided to make some just to make some type of oreo themed slime and at the end of this video i will show you how i added all of these different colors to different slimes and here is the clay extruder from PA. And immediately I noticed that this was going to be quite difficult to do because it doesn't have a little turny thingy at the end. So you literally have to use your the strength in your fingers to push out the clay. And this clay was way too hard to do that. So I just mixed in a little bit of softener and it worked 
a little bit but it was still very very difficult to use compared to my green clay extruder And now the next thing I will show you is how to make little star shaped sprinkles and stuff. So what I do is I put my piece of clay in between two baking sheets and then I roll it out and that just prevents it from sticking to everything. And then you press out your little shapes with these tools and you can find a big variety of tools at baking shops that you can use for different shapes. And then at this point I just preheated my oven to 110 degrees and that just makes sure that once my sprinkles are all ready I can just go and put them in the oven. And the next thing I will show you how to make is a chocolate caramel cake charm and I did get this idea from an Instagram account called Sweets of My Own which will be linked in the description. And then once you have all of your little individual circles, you start layering them like a real cake. And then you even cut out a slice like a real cake and then what I forgot to show in this video is you sort of take a sharp toothpick or something and make the texture of cake on the inside but that you can go and look at on Sweets of My Own's Instagram page. And then this is what the cake looks like when it comes out of the oven and then this is how I cut my cir circular sprinkles and then please 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 again ask an adult for help in this step. And this is also something that takes a long, long, long time. You can also use a little knife to cut these cake sprinkles, but I just found it way easier to use a scissors and just to cut it. It, it just goes a lot faster. then to end of this video here are a bunch of slime clips where I added some of the homemade sprinkles to slime.
thank you so 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 much for watching this video and i really hope that it helps you in making your own sprinkles for slime and then please don't forget to go and check out the our website link in the description if you are interested in buying some tickets to our pop-up shop i really can't wait to meet some of you there